Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to a competition video between the Bissell Crosswave Pet Pro and the Shark Hydrovac XL. Both of these are hard floor wet dry cleaners that can vacuum and mop your floors at the same time. The Bissell Crosswave was the pioneer in this hard floor combo product category and it's been a super best seller for Bissell ever since. But recently Shark has released their competitor to the Crosswave which they call the Hydrovac XL. Starting off with the basics, like who are these wet dry vacuum mop combos for and what is the best way to use them? I think the people that would benefit the most from these types of machines are people with mostly hard floors in their house with maybe a few small rugs here and there. I think that they're best used for normal vacuuming and mopping jobs. That is to say, you need to vacuum your hard floors, but you also need to mop them, so why not do both at the same time? And they're both unusually good vacuums for hard floors, as they both have soft brushes, which are amazing for dust and fine debris, but they can also easily conform to larger debris without losing the seal. So it's the best of both worlds when it comes to hard floor vacuuming. Both manufacturers say that you can use these for vacuuming and even washing small rugs, but in my opinion that's not the best way to use these, as there's nothing about their brushes or water distribution that seems beneficial to me for use on rugs, but technically they can be used that way. In this video we're going to go over their features and then the bench tests and then finally we'll look at the actual performance in a few torture tests. Starting off with the features. One similarity that I should mention off the bat is that these are both corded products. Both manufacturers produce a cordless version as well, and while cordless options are more convenient, they aren't always better. In fact, in a recent hard floor cleaner test we did, we found that the corded Bissell Crosswave outperformed pretty much every cordless version we tested. One big difference is in the way that they operate. The Bissell Crosswave uses a trigger which dispenses water when it's held down and doesn't when it's not, where as the shark's water is automatically dispensed when you turn the vacuum on. Which is better comes down to preference. If you don't want to think about it, then the shark is better. On the other hand, the Bissell's trigger system gives you much more control over when and how much water to dispense. Another big difference is the cleanup process. They both have methods for separating solids from the dirty water tank, which is nice, but the filter on the Bissell is much more difficult to clean, where the shark's filter is more of a sponge type and easier to clean. Also, while they both have trays that you can set them in to run their self-cleaning mode, the shark is the only one that can self-clean automatically with a push of a button. With the Bissell, you need to physically be there to hold the handle the whole time since it won't run by itself in the upright position. They both have quality swivels on their floor head, which makes them very maneuverable, but the shark swivel is better designed and has more range, making it feel more agile with less wrist movements needed. They both have LED lights on the floor head, though the sharks are placed nearer to the floor and are more useful in my opinion. They have almost identical cord lengths and cleaning path widths. They also weigh about the same, with the shark being just a little bit lighter. The Bissell does have a larger water tank, and though they are in the same basic price range, the shark is about 20% cheaper. Moving on to the bench tests. According to the sticker on the back of the units, the Bissell Crosswave consumes almost double the power that the Shark does. And in both the sealed and unsealed suction tests that we do, that difference was more or less confirmed. The Bissell Crosswave Pet Pro had quite a bit more raw power than the Shark. It did come at a cost of the noise level though, where the Bissell was significantly louder than the Shark. But while bench tests like this are helpful, they don't often tell us how good a product is at its actual job. So let's move on to the pickup tests. As I said before, they're both incredibly good hard floor vacuums. We also extensively tested them with large wet messes, and as far as pickup with no streaks goes, they were both flawless. Though the Bissell did have a shorter front gate, so larger piles of stuff would be more likely to get the floor head dirty on the Bissell than the Shark. With the glow-in-the-dark test, we really try to give them a torture test, and this is where it was a pretty interesting result. With the dried-on tests, where these difficult-to-remove stains had been there for days, I think that the shark did better than the Bissell, but not by all that much. Maybe the Bissell required one extra pass than the shark to fully clean the stains, but in general, they were both incredibly impressive for such a difficult test. However, when I attempted to overload them with wet material, the Bissell seemed to do better Better than the shark, probably because the shark's brush is a bit thicker, so you could say that the shark hydrovac was slightly better with dried on stains, where the Bissell was better with not 
streaking large amounts of wet material. So to recap, the Shark Hydrovac XL is cheaper, it has an auto mode and a better self-cleaning mode with generally better features, and it's really good at its main job of vacuuming and mopping floors at the same time. But the Bissell Crosswave Pet Pro is just as good at vacuuming and mopping hard floors, and while it's louder and a little less feature-rich, it's much more powerful and better at picking up lots of wet material without streaks. It also gives you more control with its trigger mechanism. Links in the description, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.